Hey guys, and welcome back to another vlog. So today is Friday, July 10th. It is about 12, 15 in the afternoon, and I am feeling so good today because today is the first day that I have a full face of makeup on, and I have not done this in probably a month. So I'm really feeling myself today. It feels so good to actually be able to wear makeup. I did film like a full like chit chat life update, jabber jabber, get ready with me. It will be up on my channel. It probably already is up because I think this vlog is going to come after that. I don't really know. But yeah, so this vlog is going to be just talking to you guys, showing you a few clips that I got on the 4th of July. And then we are going to my OBGYN appointment because in my last vlog, I talked to you guys about the issues that I had with my uterus and my appointment is on the 16th. So we will see what they say and we will see what's gonna happen from there. But first I wanted to address something because a lot of people have been asking me if I am still working as a barista at my coffee shop job. And the answer to your question is why yes, yes I am. I am a very busy girl. Well, I don't work, I shouldn't say that I'm not getting paid yet, but I am at the grooming salon a couple days a week getting some hands-on experience. And I work at my coffee shop job and I'm doing YouTube. So I'm, be I'm doing it all guys, I'm doing it all. And for the first time ever, Ever on my channel, I actually vlogged myself at work and I did take about a half hour video of myself at work just working, making drinks, making coffee, and I think I am comfortable enough now where I am going to show you guys that footage. So for those of you who always wanted to know if I'm still working at my coffee shop job, the answer is yes, here you go. It's not a game, it's a rich thing. me very hard at work. I absolutely, I love, 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 love making drinks. I am the best shot puller there ever was to exist. Just saying, hate to toot my own horn, but that is something I will always toot my horn about is I am a bomb ass shot puller. So yes, um, that was me working. I pretty much do that all day um, when I'm at work. And it's it's great. It's tiring and my my feet hurt and then yes after that the 4th of July happened And I took a couple clips of that I don't want to be annoying and always record fireworks because we all know how annoying that shit is So but I did take a couple clips and oh my gosh this clip. I'm about to show you guys I was dying laughing because, okay, so we lit off a few fireworks and that was all fine and dandy. And then we had this big box of fireworks that was supposed to be like the finale show. So we put it out at like the end of the driveway and we were like, oh yeah, that, that should be far enough away. Like we should be good. You know? <laughs> 
we lit the fireworks and oh my gosh we were not anticipating how freaking powerful these fireworks were because they started going off and it was literally like a meteor shower of fireworks just falling on us and we had to like run and book it into the garage and you guys will see in this clip that I'm about to show you I was cracking up laughing like I just could not stop laughing it was hysterical to me because all we wanted to do was just sit back and enjoy the fireworks and just watch a couple of them and then go to bed but no it literally turned into like a run for your fucking life type thing so yes, I will go ahead and insert those clips right now. Back up. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was hysterical. <laughs> first first time line of firework. Whoa, way up there. <laughs> to be a pretty interesting end to the night but it was a lot of fun we had a really good time um and then i basically just came home and it was back to reality oh there goes gravity and i was at the grooming salon got some more hands-on experience and i'm going to be going back next week as well hi little sweetie hi little sweetie and i gave avril a haircut Can you look at mommy Gave her a nice little haircut, trimmed her all down. There are a few spots that I need to touch up um, in like her armpit area and just fix her legs a little bit more. Um, I did pass the assignment luckily. I just used a two on her, on her body and I left her tail nice and fluffy. So yeah, she looks really cute. Sit. Yeah, don't you look nice? Don't you look nice? Oh, so pretty. They're all good. Hi, honey! How is my baby boy? Yeah, I'm actually doing a really fun video with Jackal today. I ordered Jackal a doggy DNA test. And Jackal was a rescue, so I don't know exactly what he is, uh, but we're gonna find out when we do the DNA test, so I'm really excited for that video. But yeah, since the last time I talked to you guys, everything has been, you know, pretty good, dandy, two thumbs up, my life is great. Um, I'm sure many of you know by now, but I did bring back the side cut. The side cut is back. I shaved it a couple days ago. Filmed it, uploaded the video on my channel. Uh, that was that was pretty interesting, but it's back and I'm very excited. I absolutely love it. It feels really, really good, especially in this hot summer heat. So yeah, basically just having a filming day today and then tomorrow, me, my boyfriend, my sister, and her fiance are all going tubing tomorrow, which I am so excited for. I absolutely love going tubing. It is the best time. And Sunday, I'll probably just chill. And then Monday, Tuesday, I'm at the grooming salon. And then Thursday is my OBGYN appointment, which I'm super anxious for. And I just want to go and get it done and find out, like, what the hell is going to happen. Like, am I going to have surgery? Am I not going to have surgery? What, like, what's going to happen? You know what I mean? So I'm just like, I hate waiting for stuff like this. I'm just, I'm just very anxious. But yeah, those are all of the little updates for now. I am going to go get some stuff done and get ready to film some more videos and I will talk to you guys very soon in the next clip. Bye! Hey guys, welcome back. It is now four o'clock in the afternoon. I'm taking a little lunch break, having some quinoa 
and I got a couple of Amazon packages that I wanted to quickly unbox really quick before I eat my lunch. And one of these is probably that DNA test that I told you guys about that I really want to do for Jackal. And here it is. So this is the doggy DNA test that I got for Jack. This is the Wisdom Panel brand, the world's leading dog DNA service. Dog DNA collection kit, this is the essential one. Collect your dog's DNA, activate your account, mail it in, and you get your results. It's very similar to the DNA test that me and my sister did a while ago. I did do a full video on that in case any of you are curious. So I'm gonna open this up because how, I don't even know how you would like collect a dog's DNA. How does that work? This was about um, $100 on Amazon. Next package that I got is one that I'm actually really excited. So or ever since I started um, school for dog grooming, I have been slowly but surely building up my kit myself for at home. And I was doing some research because I really wanted to get some more shears you know, just in case one of them breaks or I just need more. And I was doing some research because obviously like I'm not gonna spend hundreds upon hundreds of dollars on shears quite yet because I am still learning, I'm still new, I'm still a beginner. And I heard a lot of really good reviews on this brand. This is the Purple Dragon brand. I don't know if any of you have heard about it, but I found them on Amazon. And a lot of professional groomers who have been doing this for a long time, a long time really recommended these for beginners as well. So first thing, it comes in this really cool carrying case. I absolutely love that. That's definitely gonna come in handy. And then when you open it up, we have a total of three pairs of shears in here. So this one is the one I was really, really excited about. These are definitely gonna come in handy. So when I got my kit from school, um, it did come with some thinning shears, which were nice, but I needed a nice pair of chunkers. So I did get this pair right here, Purple Dragon brand. I don't know how well you'll be able to see that, but I really wanted to get a nice pair of chunkers. It's just another pair of straight shears, which are nice. I surprisingly like, so far with every dog that I've groomed, I haven't really used my straight shears all that much. I've mostly been using my curved shears. We just have a nice pair of straight shears right here, which are really nice. And then the last pair is another pair of curved shears, which I really like because those definitely come in handy. And I remember when I got my pair of like curved shears, I was like, why do they have tangs on both sides of the shear? Well, that's because when you're working on a dog, sometimes you need to reverse the shear like this. And honestly, like I've been using my curved shears a lot. I think this whole set was maybe 40, 40 something, I'm pretty sure. So if you guys are interested in checking it out, um, obviously I don't know how they work yet, but Purple Dragon is the name of the brand. And yeah, though that is everything that I got from Amazon. I did order one more thing, but that is coming tomorrow. It's really not anything cool. It's just like a plastic container where I can store all of my blades because when I go to the grooming salon, I just have my blades like loose and that's not good. We don't want to break any teeth. So I did order one of those so I can easily travel with it and store it. I'm going to chill out. I'm going to eat my lunch and then probably get to filming a couple more videos. I will talk to you guys in the next clip. There's a little baby bunny. Oh. Hey guys, so it is quite a few days later. Today is Saturday, July 18th. It is currently about 5.35 at night and I have, I have a lot of updates for you guys. I look a little rough, but it's the weekend and I don't care because I'm not going anywhere. So I wanted to talk to you guys about my doctor's appointment. I have my dishwasher going. Hopefully it's not too, too loud. I had to do some dishes. I talked about in my last vlog how a 10 centimeter fibroid was found in my uterine wall. 
and my appointment was on the 16th and I went to the OBGYN you know I got there I wasn't like I wasn't nervous I was just more or less like super anxious to go and get it over with and when I got there I met the OBGYN she was absolutely wonderful and I went in there fully expecting to have a scan done, to have another ultrasound done, to talk about a potential surgery. Um, like literally the night before my appointment, I was watching videos on the surgery just so I could prepare for like what to expect. And this appointment blew me out of the water. Like this was the furthest thing I was ever expecting to uh, hear from them. She walks in and you know, she's like, oh, why are you here? And I explained, well, I had a ruptured ovarian cyst, I had a CT scan, then I had an ultrasound, and now I'm here because they found a fibroid, blah, blah, blah. And she looks at me and she's like, well, they did find a fibroid, but at the same time, they didn't. And I was like, what the hell does that mean? When they sent me the results from my ultrasound of my uterus, they said they found a 9.8 centimeter, so 10 centimeter fibroid in my uterine wall. Well, long story short, it was a huge typo. It is not 9.8 centimeters. It is only 0.9, the smallest, tiniest little fibroid. And when she said that, I was just kind of like, what? When they wrote up the chart for my results, they put the decimal in the wrong spot. So instead of putting it in front of the nine, they put it behind the nine and it like rounded up. So yes, I do in fact have a uterine fibroid, but it is only 0.9. So it's very, very small. There's literally nothing I need to do about it. Um, we also went over my scans of my uterus and my uterus is perfectly normal it's healthy my ovaries are good there are no more cysts that look like they're going to rupture everything is good like for the most part as far as i know i'm fertile myrtle and i can start making babies whenever i feel like it um no surgery no sort of therapy like that like it was the most shocking thing ever and they actually gave me this little pamphlet on uterine fibroids when I was at the doctor and I really wanted to show you guys where in my uterus mine is. I know probably some of you don't care but basically here's a uterus so this is what it looks like and mine is basically this size so very very small and it's like up in the middle right here so there's nothing that you need to do for it because when uterine fibroids are that small they don't do anything about them they leave them be now if I go to start making babies and I keep having miscarriages and I keep having like infertility issues then you know we go from there but for the most part like I'm pretty much ready to rock and roll I'm ready to uh, start making some babies which I'm not planning on I'm not trying to conceive like I'm in school right now I have a lot going on I have three jobs I got time for a baby right now but if I ever did want to start then I'm good to go I don't have to have any surgery I don't have to have any sort of recovery time um, we did also talk about a few of my other issues uh, like the heavy bleeding the painful periods and she said fibroids of no matter what size can cause that and then we talked about my chronic yeast infections because I've been struggling with that like ever since I've gone through puberty for whatever reason and she asked me she's like oh are, like, are you on any sort of birth control and I am I am currently taking the pill I took a year off the pill back in 2018 and then I started up again because I got into a relationship and we were sexually active blah 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 so I have been taking the pill again for quite a while and she said okay is it the kind of pill that gives you periods every month and I said yes I usually get a period every month but some months it'll be really heavy some months it'll be really light um, sometimes I'll get breakthrough ble bleeding and bleed in between periods it's really fucking annoying and she said that when a woman has her period the pH of blood is very, very high, and sometimes that can throw off the pH of a vagina, which can cause yeast infection. So I was like, wow, holy shit, didn't know that, good to know. So we talked about different options, and we are going to be switching up my birth control method. So basically, instead of taking the pill, I am going to be switching to the patch, and the patch, I'm going to be using it continuously, so I'm only going to have periods a couple times a year, which hopefully, fingers crossed, that will cut down on the amount of yeast infections that I get. I used to get a yeast infection, like, once every three months. I was in a relationship at that time and they were not faithful so I was constantly getting yeast infections. So hopefully by using this new birth control method 
I will have less periods, which means I will have less issues with um, yeast infection. So we're going to try it out. I'm currently finishing off the pack of pills that I have, and then I will switch to the patch. I'm not 100% sure how to use it yet. I might call the doctor and make sure that I'm doing it right, but that is going to be the new plan of action. But other than that, everything looks good because I'm very pessimistic, okay? I always think the worst. I always think the worst possible thing is going to happen. But it didn't, so yay, bless the gods. That's the update on my doctor's appointment. Oh, also, let's just address the elephant in the room really quick. So, my side cut is green. <laughs> I have green hair now. Um, the story behind this, my sister came over yesterday because my sister is a platinum blonde and I have been bleaching her hair for her ever since she wanted to become a platinum blonde. And she came over yesterday when I got out of work for me to touch up her roots. And once I finish touching up her roots, you know, it's only a root touch up. So usually every time there's quite a bit of bleach left. I saw the extra bleach and I had recently just shaved my head and I was like, oh, I have an idea. So I put the bleach, the leftover bleach on my side cut, left it on for about 45 minutes, rinsed it off. And I was like, cool, it's blonde. And then I was like, but I have some semi-permanent manic panic green dye in my drawer that I never got a chance to use. So last night when I was touching up my roots, I decided to slap on some green semi-permanent dye on my side cut. So my side cut is now green. I know that's really weird. It's really random. If you kept seeing like green tinges, that's what it is. But it looks super cool. It's super fun. But anyway, so a couple of the things I've been noticing with my health is for like the last few months, I have been waking up quite a bit in the middle of the night to either pee a lot or I would wake up in the middle of the night just like so incredibly hungry. I would have like a full blown meal at two, three in the morning. It was just getting kind of weird and I didn't really have an explanation for it. And also I have just been like so incredibly thirsty, like drinking up to five water bottles a day, which for me, personally is a lot of water because I hardly ever used to drink water and then as of recently I was like wow I'm drinking a fuck ton of water I'm waking up in the middle of the night to pee a lot I'm waking up in the middle of the night to eat a lot so my first thought was oh my fucking god like diabetes right because those are some of the like symptoms of diabetes I have a little meter that I use to check my blood glucose levels and I did that this morning just to kind of check because, you know, I don't have the best diet. I mean, yeah, I'm skinny, but I don't eat the best. I eat a lot of taquitos. I love cake. I love chocolate. I love gummy worms. Like, I am the furthest thing from a healthy eater. I mean, I will have a salad every now and again, but honestly, if I could choose between, like, healthy and unhealthy... I definitely choose like the unhealthy side of the spectrum, you know what I mean? So yeah, I just started to get like a little bit concerned. I was like, wow, like I should probably start checking this every once in a while to make sure my levels are normal, which I, I did that a few hours ago before I ate. So here's that footage. If you don't like blood, you don't need to watch this part, but I'm really hungry, but I need to check my levels before I can eat anything. So that's what it is now that um, it's been more than two hours since I've eaten anything, which is under 100. Good, we're ready to eat. That's the deal with that, but as far as everything else goes, everything is perfect. I'm doing really well. Um, I'm super glad that my uterus doesn't have to be cut open. Like, that's fucking rad. Also, some other really good news is recently Revlon, you all know Revlon, makeup, drugstore, love it. They actually reached out to me and put me on their PR package and the other day I got my very first ever PR package from Revlon. It is right here in this little bag and they actually did a Wonder Woman collection collab thing. So they came with this little makeup bag right here. 
As you can see, it has Wonder Woman, WW84, and then Revlon on the back. And inside is a whole bunch of different goodies right here. I was so excited. I absolutely love Revlon. It's so crazy to me that like when I was in high school, I was using these brands and I was buying them and I was using them and I was loving them and now like I'm on their PR list and they send me this stuff like they recognize me they send me this stuff it's just like it's absolutely insane like I can't even wrap my head around it but yeah I wanted to show you some of the things that I got so the first thing I got which I'm really excited about is a nail polish and it just looks like this just a little Revlon nail polish right here and this is in the classic Revlon red shade and I'm probably gonna do my toes with this tonight because my toes need help, all right? Like, it's a thing. We also got a really cute um, compact mirror right here. So when you open it up, it has like two, two different mirrors right here, which I will throw that in my purse. We also got a little, I'm pretty sure this is like a jelly highlighter. So that is what that looks like. And I absolutely love the packaging. It's very cool. It has like all the red and gold. Super cool. I actually did... I think it was like three years ago, I did a Wonder Woman Halloween makeup look, and I absolutely loved that one, so I don't know. I wish I had this stuff back then, like that would have been super cool. I also got a eyeshadow and face palette with the Revlon Wonder Woman collab. Here is what that looks like. So when you open it up, we have a bunch of different eyeshadows and highlighters and stuff for the face. Really, really cool. I absolutely love like the bright blues and purples. I also got in here a little black liquid eyeliner. Cause you guys know how much I love my black liquid eyeliner. It's my thing. I also got this Revlon Warrior Glitter Lip Color. And this is in the shade Fight For It. And it's just kind of like this red glittery, I don't know if it's like a liquid lip or a lip gloss, but there is what that looks like. Also in here, we have a couple of lipsticks, which again, they have the really cool red and black packaging. And these ones are definitely more of like brighter colors. So we have this like bright fuchsia pink, and this one is called Justice For All. Lipstick right here super pretty i might film a video where i do like a first impressions using this stuff and then the other cream lipstick i got is 006 which is truth seeker and this one is definitely more of like a deep purple shade and then the last two products that we got are kind of like eyeshadow products and this one is the revlon transforming effects eye powder so basically they're like these little tiny sponges right here as you can see, and on the tips of them are eyeshadow. So when you go to do your eyeshadow, you basically just use these right on your lid. Really unique, really cool. I feel like I've tried an eyeshadow like that before and I really liked it. So I'm very curious to see if I'm going to like these ones as well. So we kind of have this green one and the other one is a purple one. So very much Wonder Woman colors. And then the last thing is the Revlon Color Stay Glaze Stick. And this one is like one of those eyeshadow sticks. I have a few of these from CoverGirl, Laura Mercier. Uh, these are super cool that the tip of this kind of looks inappropriate, but oh well. <laughs> yeah, that is everything in this little PR package. I really wanted to show you guys that because I'm super excited. I can't even believe this is real that I'm on their PR. I just... I'm so incredibly thankful and it's seriously you guys that I have to thank for this because this wouldn't be possible if you guys didn't support the channel. Oh my gosh, I've been talking so much. Like I haven't talked at all all day and I turn the camera on and I'm just like blah 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 blah. Okay. Yeah, those are all of the updates that I have right now. Let me know what you think of the green side cut and I will talk to you guys very soon in the next clip. Hey guys, welcome back. So today is Sunday. It is July 19th. It is currently quarter to six at night and I actually just finished filming for the day. So I actually had no intentions on filming uh, today, but because I woke up and it was like really stormy and rainy and I was tired. So I took like two naps and then I woke up at three, which I feed the dogs at three. So I was like, okay, I'll get up. I'll feed them. And then I started just to get kind of like productive and I was like, okay, I'm going to film because usually the weekends are like the only time that I have time to film, you know what I'm saying? So that is what I did today and I did this eyeshadow look. 
This is the Put It Back, uh, let me show you. The Put It Back eyeshadow single from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. So yeah, I was really excited to play with it and I absolutely love how it turned out. It is so incredibly gorgeous. So yeah, I just finished doing that stuff and now, I have to pretty much just kind of clean up and get ready for the week. Like, I have some laundry to do. I still need to vacuum. I need to make myself something to eat because it's been a while since I've eaten, like, six hours. And, yeah, but I just wanted to come on here and show you guys my makeup look. I am at the grooming salon tomorrow. Uh, Mondays are usually pretty big days, so I don't know how long I'm going to be there for. And right now, I'm just kind of, like procrastinating on cleaning because and usually I really like to clean like you guys know this about me but I swear as of lately because I've just been so busy outside of home that when I come home I just don't want to do anything oh I did my nails today too this morning uh, this is that Revlon red Wonder Woman collab nail polish I also did my toes the same color as well that was really hard oh my god so yeah I'm basically going to tackle the downstairs area first I'm gonna vacuum clean up the countertops all that stuff and then I need to tackle the upstairs which is probably gonna take me the longest honestly but I feel like I need to go to the gas station and get a pop because I'm back to not buying pop as much anymore but I'm really craving one and I feel like that'll really help get my motivation going so I think I'm gonna do that yeah I'm gonna go get a pop This is for tomorrow, because tomorrow's Monday. I can clean. Yay. Whew. Hey guys, so it is now 7.30 at night and I just finished cleaning. It took a little more than an hour. I had to do the downstairs and the upstairs, but everything is pretty much done. We're good to go for the week. I really like to clean, like deep clean on Sundays because I feel like it gets me ready for the week. It gets me motivated for the week. So. When I have a spotless house, I feel a lot better, so I will go ahead and show you. So here's my living room, all vacuumed, picked up. That looks good. We have everything cleaned up. I cleaned the bathroom, so that's all ready to go. Cannot wait to take a shower, I'm so sweaty. Uh, we have pretty much all of the laundry done. I just have one more load in there. I have towels drying. I did my filming room. Um, just kind of wiped everything down because things got a little messy when I was filming. Hey guys! And then I also did my bedroom. So my bed is made, clean sheets. Jackal's bed is made, so is Avril's. So yeah, we have everything ready to go for the week. If you guys wanna see like a more in-depth clean with me video, I did do one, I think back in March or April, and it's literally just like a clean with me. It's in my vlogs playlist, so if you guys wanna like actually watch me deep clean my house, 
you can check out that video. But I am so out of breath. I am sweating. I need to take trash out and jump in the shower. So I will talk to you guys very soon in the next clip. I don't know when that's going to be. It could be tomorrow, Tuesday. Not really sure. But I hope you all have a great week. And I will talk to you later. Bye. And my flowers bloomed. Last time they were just like little tiny things. Thank you.